Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another, yes I know, another MMA Aviation video. A lot has been happening, especially with the Infinite Flight A220 being released on the same day as Aero Fire Fest 2022 being released. But I'm going to cover everything and today we'll be doing a look at Aerofly FS 2022. Just doing kind of a quick general first look thing, seeing what it's like and just so I can kind of uh, slightly show you what it's like so you can know if you want to get it. And of course I'll be doing some other videos and right now it's just downloading so we'll be back in like one second. While it's loading let's just very 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 quickly take a look at what is new. So... I believe there's more airports at Europe. They have uh, just generally more airports, more kind of runways, slightly better scenery. They've added the Boeing 787 now. I don't believe they've added any other aircraft though. Last year they added the 777, I believe it was. Um, just there should be like better cockpits, flight support with switchable co pilots, so you may be able to change the location where you are. Highly detailed, animated and operable 3D cockpits. Illuminated cockpit at night, that should be nice. Realistic flight physics, more things like better autopilot, flight route, time jumps. Okay, so it might be related to time zones. So career mode, oh, that should be very cool actually. Shoot terrain things, that's cool. High resolution aerial photos, configurable clouds, landing lights and airport lighting. And probably just generally better things. And it also says there's a playback system, so that might be also quite an improvement. We'll just wait for the rest of us to download. It's taking a little while. Okay, so that took forever. I just recorded another infinite flight video. I, uh, yeah, I'll edit that later. So, what is new here? Let's look at regions. Don't tell me they want me to pay regions again, I've already bought them. I mean, it's okay for me, since I'm doing videos for you and I have a purpose. But for general people, to be honest, I wouldn't do that again. Great Britain and Ireland, and Northern Ireland, oh, Northern Ireland's part of Great Britain, okay. Great Britain and Ireland, part two, okay, so there's two parts. Then we Central Europe, then we East Europe, then we, oh, so we have like the whole of Europe, okay. That's very good. Can you fly to America though? I really want you to be able to do, they, they should have the options. So if they open up Europe and America, there's the ability to do overnight flights to, to, and to do any flight as short as one minute, 27 seconds or whatever the world's shortest flight is like. Uh, settings, what do we have? Let's just put everything to like max, or set a graphic, uh, graphics, sorry. Uh, it's like all max, general, blah, blah, blah. Okay, seems good. Conditions, so you have the same stuff, navigation. Apparently there's some different things. Okay, it looks a bit more easy to use. How do we turn the aircraft? Don't really know how we do that. Location. We have pretty much like these locations. Oh, no America, really? So they probably want you to play America in the other simulator, okay. And we have a proper turning thingy now, which is very good as well. Missions, this could be interesting. Oh, the actual flights. Okay, that's very cool. That's very cool indeed. Do we get points or anything? I don't think so. Challenges. Cha oh, okay, that is very good. Oh, and you can select the flight as well. Career. Just tells you information. What, what, what can you unlock? I don't think you can unlock anything, really. Uh, achievements. You, you just unlock those things. You probably get five out of five on all. So if we go back to aircraft, we have all these away aircraft that basically no one cares about. Maybe some that we begin to care about. Do we have Qatar or anything? Air Seychelles, was that there before? Okay, one or two may have been added, but nothing nothing major at all. Nothing there, so that makes me think they didn't add so many. And now, for the 787, oh my, Eddie Had looks not. Oh! But they had the 787 before, didn't they? I believe they did. Am I getting confused with another sim? No, they did have the 787. Okay, so what I'm reading from the store is that okay they have they haven't they haven't added the seven eight seven. I was I told they did, but they didn't. So I apologise for that. Funny to just think there's only one review. So if I left a one star review, the rating would plumb up to uh, to two point five stars. So if we go into no guitar, United. Oh, I think they had that before. If we go into the Eddie Had livery location, we're gonna go for. How long will it take to download the scenery? Last time, I remember doing a time-lapse thingy on it. Jeez, that was a year ago already. And it took me like half an hour to download one part of scenery. So please wait, I'm waiting. So if we download Great Britain and Ireland, let's download both of these and see how long it will take. Frankfurt, let's just show you what you want to see. Oh, let's go missions or something. Challenges. What do we have? Something, something short. Challenging approach, GIB, 
we just do a normal landing there was GIB can we search like that or does, okay that works perfect landing whoops okay if we go here short final conditions wind we want them to be very high turbulence very high so I'm actually a little bit direction we'll just randomly put it to the I close my eyes to do that time we want it to be relatively in the day there it's about on GMT so we'll put it to about two o'clock and clouds will have like that uh, normally it's quite visible though actually it's just there's some ha uh, high clouds they can be quite big and major and then there's also it's just generally clear skies and high visibility there actually oh my god okay i don't care if i crash i just need to look at this cockpit approaching decision height decision height 40 caution terrain oh we're on the ground that's good okay so we can quickly look at this how do i change views again oh how have i forgotten this don't sink. Sink rate. 20. Pull up. Don't right. sink. Okay, let's just put us higher. How do I change views? I've forgotten. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How... Sorry, no, maybe very noisy. Oh, my. To be honest, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking that aircraft. It looks way too dull and dark. And even the scenery. Ugh, it looks like RFS a bit, to be honest. Well, a lot, to be honest. If I'm just being honest, I do not like this, actually, very much. Ugh, okay. Let's change the aircraft and let's go for uh, something brighter, Singapore. Hmm, that... I'm not very happy about that, actually. I know, it's still good, of course, but just, I was expecting it to be a lot better. Okay, we... Let's see our view Sorry, I need noise. It might be a bit no too noisy for you, but... Oh, okay, it's a bit hard. I'm not used to the cockpit use. Oh, I've just changed the POV, haven't I? Uh, the FPV. Okay, we need to go down rapidly, and then we need to speed up. Sink rate, pull up. 50, 30. Oh, crap. Five. Okay, sorry for breaking your backs. Okay, let's just go down gently. Gently, gently, gently. Sink. I'm not used yeah. to these things. It's Don't kind of like sink. RFS, except it's realistic. The actual graphics of it. Let's try to... So, that was a very smooth landing, wasn't it? Maybe a bit noisy, so I'm just going to talk louder. I don't know how it works. I like, I'm like. i liking the livery a lot. I'm not too flash with the scenery, to be honest. How do we replay? Here we go. Let's see what that tragic landing was like. No. Okay. So we had the issue where we... Oh, I actually muted. And I did too late. So we... Oh, we, oh did they remove my favourite view? If you did... I will smash my device. Okay, I'm not going to do that. They probably have for now. Okay, that looks quite good actually. It's just the colours, which they might up. No, they normally don't update it. Like, they had it done last year well, and now they've just ruined it a bit. They might be for this airport only. Whoa, is that meant to be gla- Oh, that's meant to be glide sweat, really? Oh, it's meant to be how have you pronounce it? That's not looking very much like it, to be honest. That's not looking like the airport at. Oh, it's like elevated and everything. Let's go to another location. Maybe because it's a smaller airport, they've done it not as well. So do we have LHR? I thought I needed loaded or something. Uh, if we go into Heathrow. London Heathrow. We'll put it to 27L or left. I thought I needed to download the scenery or something. But let's see how it goes. But, oh, it is working. Oh, unless a special scenery or something. Okay, that's looking better and brighter. That is looking better now. Yeah. I'd still say it's a tiny bit, like, worse, if I recall. Or maybe I'm just not used to this, or just with all the simulators and stuff. Where did my rudder go? I'm p p pressing some buttons now, aren't I? Decision height. Decision height, yep. Thank you. Oh, it's showing me the... See the top right there? The controls of the Decision flaps and everything? That's quite cool. I'd quite like that. 50, 30, yep, shut up. 20, 10, 5. Let's try going outside view, I'm pretty sure it's not as harder. Okay, if we go back up now. Back up. Okay, we're way too high now. Just go on the reverse thrust. Slow down immediately. Put it right down and then we'll hop back up. Sink rate. Pull up. Sink rate. Pull up. Okay, that seems a bit of a fail. Oh, that didn't turn out too. Oh, that turned out horribly. Okay, we'll try to do a bit of a butter now. No, don't go up here. It keeps glitching, you see? It glitches. 
and each time you touch down, the gear automatically does that. It's really annoying. The throttle won't let me go up. That was quite a failure. Let's really quickly go somewhere else. Where can we go? Let's see if there's a scenery issue. Okay, not all of the scenery has loaded. Don't tell me they've only added Dublin and they've added other places. Oh wow, that's a lot quicker to download now. I'm saying that's downloading, that's downloading as well. Okay. One more place let's go to. Someone's a bit bright maybe. What do we have? Oh, we have Prague, Virginia as well. What about Slovakia? Oh, that'll be in Eastern Europe. So I'm assuming they've given us this for free. Oh, some major airports for free. Okay. Let's land on runway 30. We'll land with Qatar. Uh, we'll land on A320, which I've done in real life. Uh, we'll go over an A380 with the Qatar livery. People who watch uh, this know it's my favourite. By the way, uh, sub to the channel would be great. I hate um, I hate asking. And if you want to, you can join me as a good servant. I'm not promoting or telling you to join. I'm just saying it because I had some giveaways going on and I have a giveaway of like over $200 going soon. So just if you want to, if not, it's fine. You don't have to. Three. I'm not going to make you or anything. That's looking a bit better. Okay, we really need to work buttons and this needs to work. Minimum 70, 50, 40, 20. Retard, retard. What are we touching down? Oh, it's so much higher on this aircraft, isn't it? Let's go back up and. Right up. What? It's like the throttle's fight fighting against me. It's really annoying. Brake. Brake. We'll try and land an external view, okay? Slowly go up, 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 up. Yeah, that was still pretty terrible there. Okay, yeah, this is our final chance now. And up. Okay, this video, I feel like it's dragged on for way too long and I've kind of stuffed it again. What do I think of it? Let's really quickly take a look at the old version. Uh, do I actually have it anymore? Let's see. Okay, I, I have the whole Aerofly stockpile here. Some of them just are, uh, uh, like, they've, they're offline, so let's check 2020 out. 2021 doesn't want to work. Okay, that's going to take a long while, though. Maybe it would be a bit best to just take a look at one of my videos really quickly. And if you're wondering what simulator this is, if you're not used to it, the screen's probably infinite flight. I'm just doing something to cover everything up. I'm doing uh, Aeroflight and then Aviation, and it's not coming up, is it? Okay, what do I think? Is it worth it? Mm, depends if you can like afford it, or well, not necessarily if you can afford it, because some people can afford it. Even if I could afford it, it still may not be worth it for you. So if you're going to fly on it a lot, if it's your primary simulator, sure, then get it. If not, and you fly another simulator and you're just curious, then I would say no, to be honest. Just don't get it. And think about it. You can you can think it'll be great now, but just think about, are you going to use it in six months or a year time? Or even when the next one comes out, you could just do it every two years or whatever. But you just think ahead and just think of all the, from all the different viewpoints and scenarios. Um, but yeah, that's something for you to decide. Uh, am I going to fly this again? Probably not. I'll only do it if I do another video on it. But I'm not going to use it again, to be honest. It's very highly unlikely. And if I do, it's not going to be above 10 more times. So I'm, I'm not going to use this more, to be honest. Um, yeah, anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it if you like, subscribe, comment, and share if you haven't already. Also remember what I said regarding the Discord server. If you choose to do that and you want to join that, you can even maybe win Aerofly for free. So you won't have to worry about paying it. Or you may even win Aerofly for the next five years for free. Or I don't know how long I might give it away. Anyways, uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, just stay safe, have a fantastic day, and I really hope to see you next video, which has got to be very, very soon. I'm also doing another live stream. It's either already out, is out right now, or will be out. Oh uh, yeah, thanks. Bye, guys.